Hey, what's up guys? I wanted to give you guys a little tutorial on how to start with Voltaic. First and foremost, I'm gonna put the link in the description. You guys should definitely get to the Discord. This basically has everything you need. All you need to do is go to the resources tab. Depending on which app you want to use, if you're on Aimlabs, check under Aimlabs. If you're on Kovex, only look under Kovex. So this is basically where you can see all the main documentation on how to train your aim. Whether you use Aimlabs or Kovex, the main two resources in both these sections are the benchmark and progress sheet and the fundamental routines. Click on both of these links under your respective aim trainer. So when you click on it, you're going to get to these pages. This is a benchmark. This is not your training. This is just to see where you're at. As a beginner, this is what I did. You just click novice. So when you open this up the first time, you'll notice you have all these places that you can input high scores, but you can't edit it. So what you do is you click file, you click make a copy and you name this, you know, this is going to be the copy that you'll select in your Google sheet. I'm going to name it test marks. Then you click make a copy. And so now you might be like, oh my God, you know, how do I get this copy? Just go to your Gmail and click this button and if you go to your sheets you should see what I just copied here test benchmarks so every time you need to go to your benchmarks just come here so now once you get here this is now your copy now you can click on novice and now you can actually edit the score you're gonna see all of this random shit right and at first it's gonna look very complicated but it's really not basically they separate aiming between three main types so you have switching think of like call of duty or something where a lot of the time you're gonna be on one target trying to beam that target and then swapping to another one that peaks a different angle you have tracking obviously For example like overwatch has a lot of tracking apex legends is very essential you need to be able to get as much damage in as possible uh, clicking is just like hitting dots on the screen. So this would be beneficial for things like Valorant and CSGO, where a lot of the times that first click can like win you a round or something. Like, you know, if you hit that headshot, you need to hit multiple headshots, right? The first person who hits the headshot basically wins in most fights. That's the three main categories of aiming. Here is where you're going to input your high score of each scenario. Now we're going to get to how do you put these playlists on your respective app, whether that be Kovacs or Aim Labs, I'm gonna show how you do it for both. For intermediate and advanced, you know, wherever you end up, you should notice a share code on each one. And they're all different, obviously. So all you do is copy this under online playlist, paste it here and click search share code. Now it's gonna tell you, okay, Voltaic Novice Benchmark Season 4, whatever, <laughs> just added. And you know, uh, in, initially you have to look for it. So, uh, Voltaic Novice Benchmark. What I like to do is I like to save it, you know, start it. What I like to do as well, I like to download a, a copy to my local. That's just me personally. So now I have a copy here and I start it even though there's nothing else in my local. So this is what you would do. So it basically put all of these in a playlist for you so you don't have to go in and search it and make your own playlist and basically waste a bunch of time. And what you do, you play it, you know, you finish it, you know, you put your high score in there. That's your score, and then you do the same thing for the whole thing. I'm gonna show you how to do it in Aim Labs. Now you're here in Aim Labs, and if you haven't already, click here and make sure you make your copy. I'm gonna call it Test Aim Labs. And remember, if you want to go see where your sheet is, you just have to go to your email, your Gmail, go here, and then click on Sheets. Or you could probably just type in, I don't know, Google Spreadsheets and it should give you a link and then you can click on it and then boom so test aim labs so now i can click on it open it up and essentially the same thing that i said in kovacs runs here you have novice intermediate advanced and the only difference obviously kovacs and aim labs have different situations to play through and aim labs is actually a lot more advanced than kovacs i guess because all you have to do to like actually put your playlist into aim lab all you do is click it and like i said if you're a beginner start novice and then click and it should open up aim labs you could just say open aim labs link handler and then it says do you want to download and play it click yes wait for it to download now once you finish downloading it you click training go to playlists and penis whacker and I hearted it. Hey, yo, what the fuck? And then look for 
Voltaic Novice Benchmarks S2. If yours is intermediate, you just look for Voltaic Intermediate Benchmarks S2. And if yours advanced, Voltaic Advanced Benchmarks 2. Just like what I did with Kovacs, I like to star my stuff. But if you click here, you will notice, and it, this has a nice little logo. It shows you Voltaic Novice Benchmarks. You're gonna have all of these situations neatly packaged for you in AIM Labs, so you don't have to go through the pain of putting them in there yourself. And basically, once you get your high score, enter it here. Just like I said in, in general, it just works the same way. Put your high score in, and then you'll figure out what your rank is after you finish all of this. So here I just input a bunch of random data. If these happen to be your scores, you'll end up in silver, and it all counts with energy. I scored 313, and to be a silver player, or to a silver aimer, I guess, you have to have a minimum of 300. If I were to hit 400, then I'm a gold. So once you get to gold, you can now move on to intermediate. Now, you might be wondering, I mentioned that this is just a benchmark. This is not your training. This is not something you're going to do every day for a couple hours a day, right? These are benchmark scores. So this is just to see where you're at. So if I'm telling you that this is not what you train with, you might be wondering, what do I train with? We go to our lovely Voltaic Discord, we go to resources, and where whether you're in AIM Lab or Kovacs, you click Fundamental Routines. Let's say we do AIM, uh, Kovacs and AIM Labs, whatever. You'll now get to the fundamental routines and they have common questions, introduction, how it works, all that stuff. And actually they say it right here. Start by playing our benchmarks first and see where you place. Once you see where you place, then you can put in whatever rank you got and they have training for whichever rank you get. So let's say you did your benchmarks, you filled in all these scores and you hit silver. You'd basically go to the fundamental routines, click silver, and boom. Now you have a whole playlist of what to train as a silver. And not only do you have a whole playlist, but you have explanations of how you should be playing this. And actually you could you'll you'll see that they're they're highlighted in blue. So blue is tracking, red is clicking, and then this purplish color is switching. Read the how. Don't you don't have to read the why unless you're really curious, and you don't have to read the description, but just read the how. How do I do this? effectively because you might do something for example you might play pokeball frenzy you might get terrible scores and you might be so confused as to what's going on and it's probably because you're not doing the routine correctly you're probably wondering how do i get these fundamental routines onto my aim trainer it's just like how i showed you with the benchmarks you see every single one at least for kovacs they all give you a share code with aim labs it's basically the same way with the benchmarks let's say you get ranked in iron you just have to click here and they'll give you a link just like the benchmarks and this is how i divide my time every friday and sometimes saturday and sunday depending on how i feel those are my benchmark days every single other day i'm doing the fundamentals so these are my scores for intermediate currently i have three plat scores one that's almost diamond and a bunch of scores that are really close or these are really close to plat scores so once i can get these these guys to plat i'll be able to be a plat player and then i'll be able to move on from this gold playlist to a platinum playlist but remember this these are just benchmarks this is what you're going to do once a week some people benchmark more but I personally like to just do it once a week. I do my gold training. And what I do is the same thing. I go one by one by one, and I try to beat, beat each individual high score, try to get them as high as I can. Once I hit platinum, then I basically just scrap these gold fundamentals, and I go straight to plat, download this playlist, and then I'll have a whole new playlist to work through. Then that's a the push to diamond or whatever. <laughs> You know, it depends on how far you want to take it. And at first, it'll be kind of confusing. You'll be like, oh my God, like so many um, different scenarios. But over time, you'll start to realize like, okay, you know, once you go through, like for me, I went through silver, I went through, through plat, and it's basically these fundamental routines like have similar scenarios, but they just get harder. Like the, the balls get smaller, they get faster. Best thing about Voltaic 
is you can kind of see the progress. Having this chart to kind of like almost gamify aim training, it helps a lot. So like, you know, you have goals to work towards, like, oh my God, I'm a silver player. Let me try to be a gold player. I'm a gold player, let me try to, or gold aimer. Let me try to be a plat aimer, etc. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'm gonna be posting my progress in the future. Have a good day.